What's happening on YouTube? Doing a different type of video we haven't done in a while. This is a comparison head-to-head -head video with these two knives in front of you here. We have the Wii Knives Rectifier and the Giant Mouse Knives new released uh, Ace Biblio. So what we're going to look at is a few different things. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I've got a kind of a different format I want to do on this. I've got my notes here to the left. And we're going to compare these two knives in a bunch of different categories and then kind of score them and see who comes out the victor, so to speak. So the categories I'm going to go over, are because these are such similar size knives and materials and um, price points and such, that's why we're doing these two. Uh, we're going to go over price, materials, um, which includes like the, we'll go over, just go over it in the video, the action of the knife, the cutting performance, the value, um, the ergonomics, the pocket clip, the weight, how available a knife is, the aesthetics of the knife, the fit and, overall fit and finish, and another thing I just thought of is, is the lock disengagement, which can go along with, probably could go along with action, I guess, but we're going to include that as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. The Biblio, price-wise, 180 no, 179 I believe, is what I paid for this guy. Um, and it does have good materials for the money, no doubt about it. You get canvas micarta or G10, depending on the model you got. M390 blade still, really good deal for M390. You do have stainless liners and um, bearing, bearings for the action. On the rectifier, you have a G10 show scale, titanium uh, lock, uh, frame lock with a titanium pocket clip and all titanium hardware and S35 steel. Also, but on ceramic bearings, not on stainless steel. So for me, I'd say um, just based on the price and the... Um, Obviously, the rectifier comes in at 144. It's a little less expensive. You do get a steel upgrade on this, but the rectifier does have nicer materials overall used. So I'd give the edge to the Wii knife there. On the um, action of this knife, you have both are on bearings and both are flippers or can be deployed with a, the the different opening holes here. So the rec the rectifier has really nice snappy flipping action. It also can be slowly opened with a thumb hole. It can be middle finger flicked without issue, and you can use the thumb hole to um, use your thumb, like kind of, kind of like a thumb stud. So it has four basically different deployment options of the knife. Now the the Biblio has similar, but the flipping action is the one that works the best. It's a nice snappy flipper. Where you get lose a little bit of points here is the that that's actually pretty hard to do. I I got it down pretty good, but when you watch my first see, I can I can fail at that middle finger flip easily, because the detent is a little too strong, and because the hole how it dips in behind the scale, you have to really get your finger in there to break that detent. So the middle finger flick works, but not all the time. The slow opening works great, and the using the thumb hole um, also works, but not as well as the Wii, I would say. So you have you know very similar opening options, thumb hole plus flipper. But I gotta give the, the the edge to the Wii knife there on that one as well. Um, cutting performance, both are good cutters. Um, the Wii knife, however, is a thinner blade stock. It has a point one, I believe, um, blade stock. Let's oh, we're on millimeters here. There we go. Just want to measure the thickest part of the blade, but I'm pretty sure it's point one. It's actually a little under 0.1 inches thick on the blade stock. The Biblio is going to be thicker in the blade stock, so it's not going to cut quite as well. 0.116 uh, behind the edge. Now I could sit and do cut tests in front of you, but that's all going to be subjective as well. So I figure looking at these kind of materials, I mean these kind of stats can kind of tell you a lot about how the blade's going to cut. So behind the edge, the Wii is. That can't be right. That is seriously how thin behind the edge it is. There's no competition here. 0 0.0115 inches. Yeah, <laughs> not even close. It's so thin behind the edge. I don't even b bother measuring. I know this one's not that thin. It's pretty thin. It, it's not bad, but I think it's like 0.2. 0 0.02, so it's actually pretty thin. It's just really, really, let me just do this one more time. 
Okay, that's more realistic, 0 0.0245. And let's just do the Bui one more time for science. 0 0.011, it's so ridiculous. I've, I've measured it three, four times here. Oh wait, yeah, we are zeroed. We'll do a fourth measurement here, just to, we'll even go farther back, 0 0.014. I can't even get a different measurement. So no question there, thinner blade stock, thinner behind the edge. It's going to cut, slice a lot better. Edge retention is obviously gonna be better on the Biblio with M390, but um, you know we kind of knew that when going into that, that's gonna have a little better steel. But as far as cutting performance, I gotta give the edge to the um, Wii, and, and just in my personal use as well, the Wii is just ridiculous how well it cuts and just slices things like crazy. So definitely give the edge there. Um, Value-wise, they're very close in price. You're talking a forty-two dollar difference between the two knives, and but you get a better blade steel in this knife, but not as good as materials. You get M3 knife, you get titanium, all titanium hardware, titanium frame lock. You get G10, and you get ceramic flipper versus stainless steel liners. Uh, they aren't skeletonized at all. Um, we'll get into that in the next thing here. And you get micarta, which is beautiful. I love the micarta. But it doesn't compare really. Um, the value is definitely a little bit higher on the Wii. If this had M390, it would blow everything out of the water. But they're both very good as far as value goes. Ergonomics. Um, both are very comfortable handles. Um, both of them fit my handle well, or my handle, my hands well for being small knives. Um, but the rectifier feels much more comfortable in the handle. It's just got a more neutral handle design, so it's just really, just sits in there really nicely. This is comfortable, but I kind of have find myself having to readjust this finger down here because it kind of sits on that hump. And at first, it's definitely comfortable in the hand once you get it there, but you kind of have to readjust it. And with, with the um, rectifier, I just pick it up and it fits like a glove. So the ergonomics go uh, to the Wii as well. Pocket clip, um, deep carry wire clip on the Ace Biblio, but it doesn't really deep carry because it sits up this high. I mean, if they would have moved the clip up here and kind of just did away with the lanyard hole, then you would have a much more deep carry. The Wii actually carries, I believe, deeper in the pocket um, than the Ace does, but we can test that right here on camera. Maybe not, I think it's about sixes, honestly. But the Ace, the Biblio, yeah, let's see. I'd say that's pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much the same. Now, this one would, would, win, would win out if it had the clip in the right position, but it's going to carry pretty close to the same as far as depth in the pocket uh, on both these knives. So that's kind of a wash. Um, I like the wire clip on the ace but i also like this titanium and it's really thin and it's got really good spacing so i'm going to call that a tie as far as your pocket clip goes your next thing is your um, weight um, the weight comparison here for these two knives is very skewed here not even close honestly the we weighs in at just over well two and two point six ounces two point seven two point six Whereas this one, I believe, is a full ounce heavier. Yep, one full ounce heavier. And that is only because of, it's not because of the size, it's because how thick this knife is in the handle. And that's actually another area I should I should add to this kind of co comparison, and we'll, we'll do that, is your overall like dimensions. Um, the thickness in the handle, the Wii is much thinner than the um, Ace here. You can see that here pretty easily just comparing them, but just for the sake of science i keep saying that we're over a half inch we're 0.558 the widest point the we is much thinner it's going to be 0.43 inches thin so very thin in the pocket as well um, width wise as far as how wide the knife is in the pocket the biblio at its widest point is going to be 1.38 inches whereas i'll just going to have to measure this one at the widest point up here by the hump here by the eagle eye is 1.2, um, but it definitely feels even thinner because it, the way the blade kind of sh comes down with that drop point where this kind of has a sheep's foot style blade, so it's going to be even wider um, throughout the pocket. So in those dimensions, um, the Wii actually wins again. 
So this is really coming out to be kind of a, a knockout here. I mean, it's not even really that close. I don't know that the, <laughs> the Giant Mouse has won any of these, um, anything yet. So again, this guy's is subjective. This is my opinion. Don't, this is not scientific. I keep saying for science as a joke almost, but this is my opinion. But there's some, there are some facts here with measurements and things of that nature. So, um, Availability is pretty good both ways. This is readily available pretty much any dealer that sells Wii knives. You can get it in many, many different colors. You have uh, green G10, black G10, tan G10, different blade sh uh, finishes like straight stone wash or satin finish. I can't remember if they're satin or stone wash. Then you have like the two-tone blade here on this one. Um, the Ace is readily available actually con compared to most. Um, this is part of their, one of their lines they're going to continually carry. Whereas most of their runs are going to be limited. So this is not a limited run. This is should be a regularly available at, at dealers. So that's kind of a wash as well. Kind of a tie on that one. Um, aesthetics. How it looks. I think they're both handsome. Really good looking knives. I don't know which knife I like better uh, aesthetically. I do love the Micarta. And I wish this was a Micarta scale, not G10. I do like Micarta a lot better. But I like the uh, two-tone blade and the blue hardware on the Wii with the black. Really nice. It looks nice. Just sitting them side by side. I, I think they're both great looking blades. Um, so I'm just going to call that a wash as well because they're both aesthetically really pleasing. Um, fit and finish. Um, excellent on both. I would definitely always, though, give the lead to a Wii knife over anything made in Italy by Viper, which is who makes this knife, I believe. Viper or Fox, it's one of the two. I'm pretty sure it's Viper, though. Um, they don't they don't have bad fit and finish. Neither knife has any flaws, really. Um, but the just overall, the Wii is always going to be nicer. Um, they just have really got their fit and finish dialed in. And, you know, I would definitely say and it's the same way with this, the Rectifier versus the, uh, the Biblio there. So... Uh, last thing I wanted to come up with was the lock dis disengagement, and I should have been probably further, but I just thought about this. And the reason why it came to me was because this knife kind of sucks to disengage. It's got this jimping here, which is, I get the reasoning for the jimping, but it's too aggressive. It's really coarse, at least on this model. I would have to sand that down to make it usable. I mean, it's usable, but to disengage the lock, yeah, you definitely get grip. So if you're wearing gloves or something, I could see that. But this is a pretty small knife, and I don't know that you're going to be using it in a situation with gloves. I mean, maybe you would, but for me, for regular EDC, it's not going to be. And so when you disengage it, it's kind of, it's really quite um, coarse and kind of eats up your thumb. On the rectifier, you have nice, smooth chamfering here. It's very, very nicely chamfered, very smooth. And so it's just a pleasure. It's just easy to disengage. You don't have any kind of coarseness. You don't have any kind of um, sharp edges. And there is definitely sharp edges here on this jimping so I would definitely give the edge to the rectifier so really guys it's not really a competition um, I do like the the biblio quite a bit but if I was in the market and I wanted a small EDC folder these two are so similar in a lot of ways the only edge up the biblio has is the M390 blade still that is it uh, S35 has always performed really well for me and we does a good heat treat on it so I haven't had any issues with their heat treat or, or S35 in general. So I would definitely say that um, for f save your 40 bucks and get the Wii because you're going to have nicer overall materials. It pretty much one in every category that I even came up with. And I do love this Micarta, and I wish Wii would do more with Micarta. I would love to see a Micarta scale option for this. I may even have one made for it. Um, G10 is nice. It's really well done. It's not coarse G10. It's pretty smooth, so it, I'll probably keep it, but I do love me some of my car, and that's what really attracted me to this knife, but the Biblia is just a little chunky in the hand. Um, it's got, it, it's comfortable, but it has like a weird, like, oh, I got to adjust that a little bit, so it's kind of a hot spot, and it's just a little thick. Um, I think for this small of knife, it's a, kind of a tank coming in almost four ounces, whereas this is a whole ounce lighter, and it's just thinner it's just more it's just overall a more pleasurable pleasurable <laughs> more desirable knife for me so i'm going to choose the wii um all day so i'm gonna if you if someone came to me and said hey what would you get between the two for sure you're gonna choose the wii all right guys thanks for watching this video let me know if you want me to do more of these videos more comparisons between similar knives that i might have i'll definitely like doing them they're kind of fun so let me know if you'd like to see something else thanks for watching and see you on the next one